Hey, what's up, coin fam? In today's video, we're going to talk about modern state quarter errors, what to look for, and how much they're worth. Make sure you hang in there until the end of the video. You don't want to miss a very rare mint error and the interesting way it happens. Our first coin is this 1999 Connecticut quarter. This quarter is broad struck and it graded mint state 67. The grade is a scale of the coin from 1 to 70. This is an odd one. This quarter was somehow struck with no collar or obverse die. You can see where the collar was missing by looking at the rim of the quarter, and here's what the back looks like if you strike a coin without a die. This quarter sold for $20. Our next coin is this 2000 Denver Minted Maryland Quarter. This quarter was struck on an improperly annealed planchet. Annealing is a process during planchet preparation. The planchet is heated and changes take place in the metal that affect strength and hardness. These changes make it easier to work with the planchet during the minting process. If the temperatures aren't maintained accurately and consistently, it can result in discoloration and brittle alloy. This quarter sold at auction for $16. That's not bad for something valued at 25 cents. Our next coin is this 2000 Philadelphia Minted Virginia Quarter. This coin was graded mint state 64 and is the result of a partial collar strike. You can see the design is off center by the uneven rim around the quarter. This one sold for $17. Next up is a favorite of mine. This is a 1999 Georgia quarter graded AU58. The AU stands for about uncirculated. This definitely made it into circulation and was found in a bank roll or in pocket change somewhere. The reverse of this quarter is rotated about 135 degrees. These are very rare, but easy to find if you're taking the time to flip every coin over. I've tried and it is really time consuming to do. This one right here sold at auction for $201. Here's a 2001 Philadelphia minted off-center strike. It was graded mint state 65. Go back and compare this to the partial collar strike we looked at before. A partial collar strike may look like it's off center, but the design is still centered. The collar strike is what gives it the appearance that it's off center. This is what an off center strike looks like. These can be commonly found in small degrees. Most of the off center strikes I find are in coin rolls for older pennies and only off center slightly. This off center strike gave this quarter a little value boost and it sold for $34. Here's another fairly common error. This is a 2001 Kentucky quarter. This is a strike through error, which basically means that something foreign came in between the planchet and the die affecting the strike of the coin. Most struck through errors are caused by a buildup of grease from the presses. This can cause part of the detail of the coin to be missing. The strike through on the quarter was big enough to affect a lot of the detail in the words, in God we trust, and the A and the R in the word dollar. This coin sold at auction for $51. Take a look at this 2005 Philadelphia Minted California Quarter. This quarter is missing its clad layer and has a reddish tint from the exposed copper. It weighed in at 4.7 grams, a little less than the 5.67 grams it should weigh. That's not much of a difference, but it was enough of an error for this Golden State Quarter to sell for $1,265. What's wrong with this 2008 Denver Minted Quarter? If I ever came across one of these before watching this video, I would think it was counterstamped. After all, if you know how modern coins are minted, what other explanations could there be for an NQC T? Here's what happened. This is actually a struck through grease error. These are extremely rare. What happened here was that one of the T's was completely filled with grease. The quarter stamp before this should be missing one of the T's in trust because of the grease filled die. After the previous coin was stamped, the grease that filled the T fell out, still a perfectly formed T, and landed on the next planchet to be minted. This is where it was actually struck into the coin because of the pressure, the grease didn't smooth out into a blob. There you have it. This quarter was graded mint state 64 and was labeled drop letter T. It's probably not the most accurate name for the struck through grease error, but that's what they're calling it, so that's what we're going to go with. This quarter sold at auction for $780. If you want to learn more about error coins, click on that video to the left. Thanks for watching.